good morning everyone this is another session on palmistry and in this video we will be discussing about this palm now there are many features many things which we can find out from a palm and we will be having a general analysis of this palm in order to understand how we can notice the different markings the different combinations and things like that now to start off with we can clearly see that this finger that is apollo okay this is referred to as the apollo finger or the sun finger okay so, so this is the sun finger and this is the jupiter finger okay and we'll always be comparing these two now clearly you can see that the sun finger is quite tall compared to jupiter even um, you know uh, so basically the sun is taller than the jupiter right and so we can say that uh, the sun is quite strong okay and uh, we can also find vertical lines below it okay which we don't find it here right so clearly and uh, this mount is also looking developed so mount of sun for sure we can say is strong right so when we look into this palm we are sure uh, to say that the mount of uh, you know sun is quite strong now what happens when sun is strong when sun is strong it gives uh, the person um, the the ability to be creative the ability to express himself very freely okay sun is all about expressing yourself in a confident way sun also gives you interest in sports so this person can have interest in sports okay uh, can be very expressive okay can be good in creative fields further the sun also uh, gives you uh, a sort of confidence okay so, so the sun line especially is associated with confidence ability to make contacts ability to uh, you know have uh, uh, ability to you know sort of um, what we can say make contacts with influential people okay and uh, things like that people management skills to an extent are also seen from the sun also if the uh, sun is very strong the uh, people generally are uh, uh, are very i mean they find family very important and for them family is far more important okay also with sun strong okay with the uh, sun as you see the sun is quite strong the person also has the ability not to dominate others not to control others see dominating and controlling is jupiterian trait and jupiterian traits are reduced in this hand clearly and that's why this person will not like to dominate will not even want to get dominated in return they are more home loving family oriented people okay so that is how it operates okay so sun is clearly stronger than jupiter also you can see in the setting of the fingers these two fingers look to be in one plane okay and jupiter looks to be going down and mercury seems to be going down i'll try to explain it more clearly so that you are able to understand it well now when we try to look into the setting of the fingers these two fingers are seted in one way okay and then you suddenly see the drop down effect over here and drop down effect over here as well now what does it imply is that jupiterian and mercury qualities are lacking okay and we check both okay jupiter and mercury for confidence in a person so this person can lack a bit of confidence okay can lack the ability to uh, you know say something very confidently and this this is something which can be a bit lacking also this person can be a bit shy because whenever this drop down mercury is seen and generally it is found that especially in childhood these people are more shy so this is what we can check from the finger formation okay simply the finger formation can give us a lot of insights okay now further what do you observe you observe that saturn is quite high isn't it saturn is the highest in in case of setting of the finger saturn is highest and there are vertical lines under saturn so what we can say is that here saturn and sun are quite strong okay saturn and sun together are playing a very strong role and uh, that's where i feel that saturn gives you a lot of seriousness okay so basically this person will have the combined qualities of saturn and sun because both are strong now what is saturn saturn is all about seriousness saturn is all about structuredness okay saturn is about responsibility 
सो द पर्सन विल बी एबल टू हैंडल क्रिएटिविटी इन अ वेरी रिस्पॉन्सिबल मैनर द पर्सन विल बी एबल टू बी वेरी रिस्पॉन्सिबल टूवर्ड्स फैमिली सो देर विल बी अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ द सन्स क्वालिटी एंड द सैटर्न क्वालिटी राइट एंड ऑल्सो सिंगल वर्टिकल लाइन्स अंडर सन एंड माउंट ऑफ सैटर्न आर जनरली कंसिडर्ड गुड ओके नाउ फर्दर वॉट डू वी सी इन दी हैंड फर्दर वेन वी लुक इन टू दी हेड लाइन इट फर्दर कन्फर्म्स दैट दी पर्सन इज वेरी गुड इन क्रिएटिव परस्यूट यू सी द लाइन स्टार्ट डिपिंग डाउन टूवर्ड्स द माउंट ऑफ मून एंड लुक इट द माउंट ऑफ मून इट सो फ्लैशी राइट नाउ वेन एवर द माउंट ऑफ मून बिकम्स वेरी फ्लैशी द पर्सन हैज गुड अमाउंट ऑफ इमेजिनेशन वो कैबलरी गुड अमाउंट ऑफ ऑल्सो द पर्सन बिकम्स सॉफ्ट हार्टेड सो वी कैन ऑल्सो से दैट दिस पर्सन हैज स्ट्रॉन्ग अमाउंट ऑफ मून एज वेल सो मून इज स्ट्रॉन्ग ओके सैटर्न इज स्ट्रॉन्ग एंड सन इज स्ट्रॉन्ग एज ऑफ नाउ एंड फर्दर वीनस ऑल्सो लुक्स क्वाइट स्पॉन्जी ओके सो दीज फोर प्लानिट्स आर डोमिनेटली स्ट्रॉन्ग इन दिस पाम ओके स्पेशली माउंट ऑफ मून इज वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग ओके बिकॉज द हेडलाइन दैट इज द थिंकिंग इज गोइंग देयर देर आर लॉट ऑफ ट्रेवल लाइन्स सो मून बिकम्स वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग सैटर्न एंड सन आर इक्वली स्ट्रॉन्ग एंड वीनस इज ऑल्सो क्वाइट स्ट्रॉन्ग सो दिस इज हाउ वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड द डिफरेंट माउंट फॉर्मेशन सो डेफिनेटली वेन दी यू नो द हेडलाइन स्टार्ट कमिंग टूवर्ड्स द माउंट ऑफ मून देर विल बी अ लॉट ऑफ इम्पॉर्टेंस गिवन टू writing creative abilities and you have to also see in conjunct there are vertical lines under the sun so definitely the person will do well in creative fields because the amount of moon or moon and sun in combination do indicate towards uh, the person having creative abilities now further what do we see in this palm now further i'll try to time the events on this palm let us try to understand the timing of the events on this palm so this is basically a basic analysis of how to find which mount is strong how to check so uh, to check the mount strength first you know in case the finger is involved check with the finger okay then followed by the vertical lines okay uh, if there are vertical lines it adds on to the strength further uh, further check with the positive signs positive signs include square star okay uh, that have been discussed previously so in this fashion you will be able to assess which mount is strong so that is first so first to try to find out which mount is strong that is what we learned in this palm or in this uh, analysis now how to time the event so okay now let us try to see synchronicity in this palm okay now we see some sort of an emotional disturbance happening at this point okay let us try to carefully see there is some sort of a stress line cutting over here okay so this is another point over here right and there is some horizontal bar also cutting over here right so we see that there is some disturbance happening under the mount of saturn okay under the mount of saturn there is some stress seen emotionally some stress on the headline and also on the lifeline and this is approximately at the age of 25 or so because under saturn the timing is approximately 25 even for heart line for head line and for the life line it's approximately 25 26 so at around 25 26 there might have been some sort of an emotional upset okay some difficulty but saturn is not bad for this person because we see there is a vertical line so saturn is positively placed but it is causing some stress okay which in long term would be good okay so this might be that at around 25 26 some emotional upset or change might have happened which might have caused stress in general life and also in terms of some disturbance in the mind so that is how it has worked out so this is how synchronicity can be checked so at 25 26 there are very high chances that this person might have had some sort of emotional stress and general stress but the person would have been able to overcome that because saturn looks strong saturn is positively placed saturn mount is well placed and there is a vertical line so saturn will not give negative results but yes it has the tendencies to cause stress and that's where it helps the person to improve in general life 
because you see after that stressful period okay which is around 25 there are so many uh, vertical lines going towards saturn so the person has started making a lot of uh, you know important moves uh, a lot of hard work so that is how uh, synchronicities can be checked from the palm also to mention here there are parallel lines okay these are referred to as sister lifelines and the more sister lifelines you see the more positive venus starts uh, becoming because vertical lines always are considered good and uh, they are always positive signs and again check with the timing of these lines okay again so at 25 we know that there might have been some sort of an emotional change okay now next timing let us see okay so there are vertical lines here horizontal bars here here and then after that we don't see any major horizontal bars cutting across but there are vertical lines so we can say that the period from 23 okay approximately 23 because there is another bar cutting over here so from 23 to let's say 27 okay the person might have faced stress but before that and after that the stress is further reduced and actually the things have improved because there are positive effort lines so now to time this event how we'll say is that the stress started at 23 okay we saw the stress starting at 23 and there was some major stress maybe most probably emotional at 25 okay which caused some sort of a problem but that should be fine because saturn is operating in a positive way then there the stress continued till 27 or so but after which a lot of improvements have been seen possibly because there are a lot of support lines in this person's palm so that is how you have to keep correlating the different timings and keep uh, understanding how uh, the things would have happened or how the events would have happened the more you try to be careful and precise the better reading you will get so uh, this was just a general video on how to go about timing and how to judge which mount is strong hopefully you got few more insights and you will be able to uh, trace this events in your palm or in in your friend's palm on any palm and keep trying to do these small analysis experiments and that's how you will be able to get more accuracy so hopefully you got few more points across in this palm i'm shwetank into palmistry do check my channel for more thank you take care bye bye